And it looks like this camera isn't bouncing like the one we saw earlier. It no, wasn't either. the winds have calmed down as well. Also, you notice, Becca, the trees there on the right hand corner of the screen. They're not moving around like we saw earlier on this afternoon. So the winds have calmed down here. So that's good news. I still think we'll keep some gusty winds in the weather forecast tonight, especially closer to Lake Superior and in the Keweenaw Peninsula. And then the wind does return. At least the gustier winds return for the daytime on Wednesday. But as we get into tomorrow, all night we should see lighter winds a little bit of a cool down and then we got a warm up on the way for Thursday and Friday and then another cool down to start off the Labor Day holiday weekend folks we're getting into this time of year we're going to be going kind of back and forth between a fall preview and summer hanging on and that's what's in our weather forecast as we go through the next week all right there's the enemy webcam. Like Becca said, nothing really bouncing around. Let's get you to our 906 Weather Watchers page. Robert Halterman in Hermansville sent this in, and it's a nice photo. The moon setting this afternoon just after sunset. It's a beautiful evening here in Hermansville, and doesn't look like they got the strong winds currently this evening as well. And in fact, South Central UP had some gusty winds, but not like the Keweenaw Peninsula and not like locations along the Lake Superior shoreline. Thanks, Robert, for sending that. And then we got to go to Nagani here. I got this photo earlier on this evening. Some wave action on Teal Lake. And as I was driving by earlier this evening, it looks like there were some white caps even on Teal Lake. Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw them earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't really see those on Teal Lake, <laughs> the white caps and the higher waves. But that's what a good west to northwesterly wind does. But just a beautiful sunset there on Teal Lake there, just a beautiful sunset there and a beautiful evening in Nagani with a little less wind and it was comfortable out there and the humidity levels thankfully are down as well. And we'll talk about that here in just a second when we get to the weather graphics here. But as we look at some other photos here, we got one more we got to get to and this is Cindy Scheffler here. She was out in Gladstone today this morning and she said this statue is called Jack and the Kid there, and you can see the statue, some of the fair weather cumulus clouds, beautiful lake there in the photo here, and then some other photos as well here. Some good deal of cloud cover there in Gladstone, but still a beautiful photo there. And then as we look at some other photos there, just some beautiful photos of the Bay of Green Bay around Gladstone, Little Bay, Dinoc there as well. Thanks, Cindy, for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers, feel free to hop on the Facebook. Check it out. Feel free to join. I'll tell you this, Becca, we are almost to 700 members here. So have, so feel free to join on Facebook. All right, let's get you to our our local three radar network here, radar and satellite. And you can see that we do have dry conditions across the UP here. And we will keep conditions dry as we go through the rest of the night tonight. As we look at temperatures, or excuse me, we'll start with winds here. You can see we have the winds that are out of the west northwest here at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but we still have some higher gusts anywhere between 30 miles per hour in the Cumanaw Peninsula, Houghton, 31 miles per hour for Copper Harbor, 18 miles per hour for Sault Ste. Marie is what they're gusting to. Temperatures are in the 60s, and in fact, we're down to 60 at Land O'Lakes. Wisconsin, 61 at Sawyer International. And as we look at the dew points here, we have dew points that are on the dry side in the 50s. Officially at the Weather Service today, 72 was today's high, and we had a low temperature of 61 here. And as we look at three things to know, we are looking at the wind to continue as we head through the nighttime hours tonight, and it will be cool for the overnight and cool for Wednesday. But as we head into Thursday, we are looking at temperatures that will be warming up for Thursday afternoon, and that warm up is going to continue on into Friday. For the overnight hours, low temperatures tonight across the UP will be in the 50s to around 60. We do keep some wind around, especially in the Keweenaw Peninsula for the daytime on Wednesday for Marquette, 68 degrees will be the high temperature, 80 degrees for Thursday, 84 for Friday, 63 for Saturday, 68 for the daytime on Sunday. As we go to Escanaba and Gladstone, 75 for your Thursday, 78 or 75 for Wednesday, 78 for Thursday, 81 for the daytime on Friday, 68 for Saturday, and 70 degrees for Sunday. For Iron Mountain, Gladstone, 74 for Wednesday, 82 for your Thursday, 85 on Friday, 71, cooling off a little bit for the weekend. And then for Houghton and Hancock, 69 for Wednesday, 82 on Thursday, 85 on Friday. And then as you can see, we're back into the 60s as we go into the weekend. For weather anytime, head to our webpage, gpmatters.com.